The Museum of History of Science has many unexpected objects in the store, so strange that we wouldn't normally put them on display. So for the summer exhibition this year, we thought we'd take advantage of that. This is an object from our eccentricity exhibition, and I wonder if you can guess what it might be. I can give you a clue or two. For example, if you draw this little door back, what we find is a clock. And the other clue is that if you draw this grill out, what it is, really, is a little cage. So what might that be? This is one of the more remarkable objects in the eccentricity exhibition. It's a Chinese typewriter. And in the West, that's become a byword for something that is extraordinarily complex, almost absurdly difficult to master. In English, we have 26 characters in the alphabet. There are thousands in the Chinese language. But it can be done. You can create a Chinese typewriter. And there's one right here. It's a remarkable and a functional working object, which is eccentric to us, but not in China. So eccentricity often is in the eye of the beholder. This is a very rare form of astrolabe. Most astrolabes deal with the sun and the stars, but this one also deals with the planets, and that's fabulously unusual. There are only two astrolabes like this one in the world. The museum has always concentrated on the fact that this is such a fabulously rare astrolabe, and until now I has never bothered to mention in public that it very probably belonged to the famous, perhaps notorious, soothsayer Nostradamus. So Nostradamus would have used an instrument such as this to uh, provide the data for his astrological work and in fact we believe that he used this very instrument. What this is is a Japanese clockwork flytrap. When you wind it up, you have a winding key, it turns this box and you coat the surfaces of the box with a sticky substance that attracts flies. The flies are attracted, they get taken round the, as this thing turns, and this flap sweeps them off. So they get dislodged, and then they fly up towards the light and get trapped in this cage. And it actually works. When we cleaned the fly trap for the eccentricity display, we found that there were still lots of flies. When we were putting together the eccentricity exhibition, we hardly looked at any of the beautiful, the powerful, the ingenious objects that we have on display in the museum. Instead, what we did was to go into store, into the reserve collection, into the items that we don't normally put on display. That's where we found the things that were eccentric, odd, curious, unexpected. And now we want to give you a chance to be here in the museum too. We've created a special space, we've created a fourth plinth an empty surface on which we can receive. It might be an art object, it could be a curious invention, it could be a family heirloom, something that's been lost in the attic. Just the perfect things that we think could be here on the eccentricity fourth plinth. If you want to find out about it, go to the museum's website, we have all the information there, and then you could be here on the fourth plinth.